I know, I know the record of your works and what you're doing. And you think, oh boy, does he know what we're doing, good or bad? Maybe a little bit of both. But see, I have set before you a door wide open, which no one is able to shut. If God has that door open for you, listen, no one can shut it. He opens doors, and it's his timing. He knows. I've seen him open. Even this past week, he opened doors in our life, and I went, where did that come out of? Like, out of nowhere. This isn't something I strived for. It's not something I was trying to get my, I wasn't trying to push the door open. I wasn't trying, not at all. Kind of flung open and I went, God, that is totally you because I wasn't even going that direction. And that door just went, whoop. I was like, okay. I know that you have but little power. Now, God wasn't saying that you don't have my power. He's saying in your own strength, you don't have, you have little, but little power. I get it. Sometimes we just go, God, we know we have you, but boy, this is overwhelming. And yet you have kept my word and you've guarded my message and have not renounced or denied my name. Those are important words. Hang on to them. We've not renounced the name of Jesus Christ. We've not preached another gospel. And you know what? That has made us a target. That's right. That has made us a target. I've had some nasty people say some nasty things, people that one day will probably be in heaven with us, and they'll have to deal with what they've said. But I refuse to preach another gospel. Whether you like it or not, I don't answer to you. There will be a day I stand before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and I will stand there alone. And the gospel that I preached will be his gospel, and that's it. I have nothing else to say about it. Don't like it? Wham! Take it up with him. I've had enough. I don't answer to anybody but him on this. It's his word, not mine. And it's not my job to perform it. This is the amazing thing. I, when I was young, I thought I had to strive and try and work so hard. My job is just to speak it and let it perform itself. I don't have to strive. It's not my word. It's not my power. It's his. So I say that because, listen, there is some people that want to say a lot of stuff. No, it's his message, you guys. What is he saying? And I can, people have come to us and been like, I need to know what the, I'm not going to conjure something up for you. I am not going to conjure it up and make it up to make you feel better. I refuse. If God didn't say it, I ain't saying it. And the one word he has given me over and over is you better be firm as a pillar. And then I know exactly what he's saying. I know for like, I can just hear it in the spirit realm. Take note. Take note. That means grab your pen, write this down, take note. I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie. You know, God knows what's really in your heart. And you think, okay, of Jews. God knows who's truly in the church and who's not he knows who has said that they were a born-again believer and they have ran for an office and they've lied through their eye teeth for decades he knows and they've worshiped a false god instead and yet they stood in front of us and said that they were brother and or sister and with us god knows the truth it hasn't escaped god he knows who is of the synagogue of satan Well, those are some harsh words. He didn't say people who just betrayed you and weren't nice to you. No, I know those who are of the synagogue of Satan. Wow. That's some powerful terms there. I know the people who have faked it for years, and they're really not of me, and they're really not of you. And they lied. And he sees it. So what's he going to do? And he says, behold, I will make them come and bow down before your feet. Notice it doesn't say his feet. It says your feet. 
and learn and acknowledge that I have loved you. In Psalms 23, it says, God will make a table before you in the presence of your enemies. In the middle of this battle, God is going to set the church up and he's going to bless them right in front of the world. Why? Because we're his kids. But he's going to show the false ones. He's, gonna, he's taking out the, the terror from the wheat. He's the one that does it. Remember, we're not to do it. This is not our job. When I was growing up, I think there was too many people in the church trying to do that position. They're walking around trying to figure out who was wheat and who was tear. You don't know people's hearts. It's not your job. And I think that's where a lot of the gossip came in the church. It's not your job. Let him sit there and grow until God weeds them out. It's his job. But the ones that are of the synagogue of Satan, God's going to deal with them. It's not even our job to expose it. It's his job. And he will show who's lying and who's telling the truth. 